guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day drink some iced coffee because i know i, I run on this daily this is my second time filming this video because i could not get the, i couldn't get the audio to work the first time i filmed this video it was a complete mess the audio I don't know what was wrong with the audio, maybe it was plugged into an outlet that was kinda not working. It sounded static, basically. I figured out the problem, I was gonna upload the first video, dead ass, midway through editing the video, I was like, nope, delete, control, delete. I deleted everything, all of the content, I wasn't satisfied with the audio in the first video, so... Cut the cameras. Dead ass. Here I am again remaking this video. I'm really happy by the way this makeup look came out. If you guys are interested on how to achieve it, then keep watching. All right, finally, after a day and a half, I finally getting my microphone to work. I filmed a whole ass video and I'm recreating it. I have my somewhat of iced coffee. If you guys are wondering how I make my coffee, I will leave a separate video for you guys to see. I'll leave it in the description. To this video, take two. For a primer, I'm gonna be going in with the Smashbox Vitamin Glow Primer. I love this primer. I've mentioned it a couple of times. I love the way this primer smells. I love citrus scents. I don't really like floral scents. I need to invest in a fan. The Wet n Wild, I usually use it for when I'm super tan and then the Maybelline, I use it for when I'm not as tan. So we're gonna go with the Wet n Wild one. I do like the applicator on this foundation. It's so easy. My Palm Springs trip was amazing. Unfortunately, I did not vlog that much. I didn't vlog that much in Palm Springs because I was caught up in the moment. And you know when you're caught up in the moment, you don't really Snapchat or post. I left Arizona it was blazing hot but when I went to Palm Springs it wasn't as humid I don't know what happened with the weather change when I left Arizona it was 116 yeah <laughs> and then when I got there to Palm Springs it was like 105 105 is still hot don't get me wrong that's it's still I stayed in a resort it was me my sisters and two of their friends. We went to go, we went downtown. We ate at a really good restaurant. It was an Italian restaurant. I really love, I just, I love Italian food. I would say 90% of the time, if we weren't downtown, we would be in the pool. 
the resort had an amazing pool all right i think that is somewhat blended wow i haven't used this much coverage in such a long time so it's been a minute since I haven't been wearing makeup. The purpose of all of us going to Palm Springs was for my twin sister's birthday. Shout out to Valerie and Vivian. Also shout out to mom and dad, hey, for hooking us up with the resort. I had such an amazing experience. I've been to Palm Springs twice. And surprisingly, I went when I was a little girl, probably when I was still in grade school. But now that I'm an adult, I can adventure and experience the downtown life. I had a really great experience. By the way, I did apply some corrector concealer. This is the one by LA Girl in the shade Radish Concealer. If you have any dark spots or blemishes and you wanna cover those up, this is good for that. For the real concealer, I know I look crazy. I probably look like a raccoon right now. I'm gonna go in with a medium beige. This is also by LA Girl. I love their concealers so much. I yet have to try their foundation, the LA Girl foundation. I'm gonna go in a little heavy with the concealer. I'm gonna put some under my eyes, on the sides of my nose, the places that I want to highlight, like my forehead, my chin. Don't forget to wet your beauty sponge and Let's blend. I love the LA Girl Concealer. Just look at that. That blended out so seamlessly, but I do have to set it quick because my lids and my under eyes crease. I keep my lashes, lash glue, tweezers. I keep this small beauty blender specifically for my under eye. The powder that I'm gonna be going in with today is by Airspun. It's the transition powder. I don't remember what shade I got. I think this is the original one because now they came out with more shades. I'm gonna set my under eye just like that. Oh my God, I'm trying not to laugh or smile or else I will crease. This powder is so messy, I'm not gonna lie. It got all over my makeup one time. It was not cute. I wanna know what else is not cute foundation on your lips we don't want no cake lips for eyeshadow i'm thinking on going for like a natural minimal summer look i'm gonna be going in with some ofra shade i remember i got each and every one of these eyeshadow shades in my boxy charm each month and i surprisingly i still have them they're such good eyeshadows their pigment is by far the best. I think I'm gonna go in with this pink shade right here. This is in the shade Frappe. For the brush, I am gonna use the Morphe M441 brush. You don't have to have this brush. Any brush you have is fine. Take this color right here. I'm gonna go in ham. And I'm gonna place this color all over the lid. I used to do my eyebrows in the beginning of my makeup routine and surprisingly, I do my eyebrows last 
now because I used to be all about brows and I was really crazy about the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade and now it's different it's the other way around I'm not too crazy about brows now to be honest it's probably my least favorite makeup routine You can already tell the difference between this eye and this eye right here. I'm gonna do the other eye really quickly. Alright, now that I have my transition shade laid down and with another Smashbox product, this is the Kali Contour Palette. I love that it has mirror. I love palettes that have a mirror. It's just super helpful. I'm going to be going in with these two shades here. The brush I'm using, I'm going to take a flat taper brush like this. I forgot the name of this. I got it in my BoxyCharm a while ago. Um, and let's just place this color in the center of the lid. Just so our eye can have like some dimension. And it, just so our eye doesn't look all matte. We want our eye to, you know, pop in the sun. And What did I do in Palm Springs? When I was in Palm Springs, I took a lot of pictures, um, a lot of TikToks. It was my sister's birthday and I wanted it to be special for them. Basically just spend quality time with each other, especially during these times. We need family right now more than anything. It feels good to be around your loved ones family. I took a lot of pictures. I'll insert them in this video. I just had a great time and unfortunately when you're having a good time, time just, you know, flies by. I feel like I just left yesterday. Plus I stayed half a month in Long Beach. Time just goes by so fast. This is basically it for the eyeshadow. Super simple. I don't really like the eyes, the eyelids to look blank. I want, you know, at least to see something, a little shadow on there, something. But yeah, it's super easy, super simple. It's such a, anyone can wear this. I kind of want to work on my eyeliner skills but I don't want to mess up this video because if I mess up with my eyeliner it's the end of this video I'm one of those for eyeliner I'm gonna be going in with eyeliner with a felt tip god willing this is the eyeliner by Ardell hopefully I don't mess up Oh my god, that looks terrible. I'm just gonna leave it alone before I mess it up and I know when I put on lashes, it's gonna look, it's gonna bring the look together. Sorry you guys, I have to stay really focused because if I talk and do my eyeliner at the same time, Wow, that wing was not supposed to be that long, but okay.
20 minutes later. To be honest, this is as good as it's gonna get. Because if I keep messing with them, I'm gonna have eyeliner on my nose, on my neck, on my forehead. Let me just put this down. <laughs> Next, I am going to curl my lashes and apply mascara. For the eyeshadow, I'm going to be going in with Lux Cali Contour Palette. And I'm going to use this brown shade right here. And for the brush, I'm just using, you know, a staple pencil brush. I'm just going to put this color right here. And I also like to connect it with my eyeshadow. I go back to the face and I'm just going to bring some warmth back in there because... I just set down foundation and translucent powder and I want my face to look bronzed and sun-kissed. For the bronzer, I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula. I've literally hit pan in this twice. It's such a good bronzer. It smells amazing. For the brush, I'm just using a big kabuki brush. If I could go back to Palm Springs again, I would. Next time I go, I'm going to try to get an Airbnb because as I was driving downtown, they're little mobile homes and they're cute little houses. They're so cute. It's like so as aesthetic and I thought... It was just, you know, the city of Palm Springs, but it's huge. You can explore downtown, you can go east, you can go west um, to the bigger cities. For my forehead, I am going to go in with a little brush. This is just a little mini kabuki brush. I got this in my Sephora bag. Um, I don't like to go in with a big brush. I like to go in more precise with a smaller brush it doesn't take me too long these baby hairs i don't know how to get rid of them for blush i'm going to be going in with the mac blush this is in the shade melba I'm pretty sure you're familiar with this. I feel like everyone has this shade in their makeup collection. It's a it's such a pretty color and it's a diverse color. For the brush, I don't remember the name of this. I got this in my boxy charm a couple months ago, but it's meant for blush. I do go in pretty heavy with blush in the beginning because throughout the entire day, blush is gonna it's gonna fade through throughout the day so I do like to go in pretty heavy and I like to take it everywhere too like I like to put it on top of my bronzer just so everything blends I'm gonna try and put some on my nose I'm gonna go in back with the translucent powder and I'm gonna clean up my bronzer just so everything can look sharp. I like to specifically go in with this beauty blender because I feel like it gets in the small corners. For example, right now, I wouldn't be able to do that with a regular beauty blender. I feel like with the regular beauty blenders, it would make a mess everywhere. I just think it's so fascinating. And tore my bronzer. I'm gonna put some on my chin, my forehead, basically my T-zone. That's usually where I get oily fast and that's not the look I'm going for. I want this to be a matte look. For my nose, I pinch the sponge just like that and I try to get in as close as possible to the center 
and then I just drag the rest of the powder on the side boom just like that and I tried to make a skinny line in the center that's gonna make the illusion of your nose to look smaller while this is setting setting really quickly I'm gonna hop into lashes these are the Ardell ones and I forgot the number of them but these are the double wispy I'm gonna go in with a flat kabuki brush it's just a short brush and it helps me you know just dust off like excess powders and I do like to go pretty ham when I do my my baking because I want a crisp clean line I'm looking at myself in the mirror right now and I haven't been wearing makeup in such a long time that I'm just like wow I forgot how I look like with lashes every time I bake the powder on my forehead disappears faster can you guys tell when someone doesn't have a lower mascara on like can you even tell the difference right now oh well, yeah you can a little bit it's like the littlest detail makes a difference next for eyebrows finally it feels so weird saying that because my makeup routine used to I used to do my eyebrows first in my makeup routine and now I do them last. I do have an in-depth tutorial on how I do my eyebrows. I usually cut this part because it literally takes me 20 minutes each to do my eyebrows. So I'm going to just cut this part and if you guys are interested in the eyebrow tutorial, I will leave a link in the description. A few moments later. Eyebrows make such a difference. For highlight, I'm going to be going in with the... Smashbox palette again, and I'm gonna use these two shades in the center right here. They're just so This palette is so gorgeous. I travel with this Everywhere so I can get an even better highlight. I'm gonna spray my face with the elf blotting mist It's not a setting mist. I guess you can call it a setting mist because it's supposed to mattify your face but I just like to go in with this spray. I like the way it smells and it makes me feel super fresh. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of the spray though. I feel like for e.l.f. it could have a better spray. A simple standard fan brush and I'm gonna go in with both of the shades. I like to mix them. I like to smile a little bit so I can get it a little bit on my cheekbone. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side and for my nose I like to apply it with my ring finger. I like to apply highlight with my ring finger because I like to get down the bridge of my nose and the tip. When I use a brush to highlight my nose the product goes everywhere. This is such a pretty highlight. I like it. My nose, I grab a little bit on my ring finger and I just place this on the tip of my nose and the bridge. And I just like to run my finger up and down the bridge and on the tip. See, that made such a difference. Okay, I'm going to change really quickly and I'm gonna move on to lips. Lips is literally my favorite makeup routine, so I'll be right back. I like to keep my lipsticks in my bag everywhere that I go because you never know if you're going to need some liner, some lipstick, something to retouch with, so I keep them in this pouch. I'm going to line my lips with the LA Girl Sugar and Spice Lip Pencil. For lipstick, I'm going to use the Palladio Forever Intense Lip Paint. This is in the shade Keeper. I just dot it around my lips and then I take my ring finger and I blend it out. Last but not least, I'm going to take this shade in the color Driver. This is by the brand Maybelline. I'm going to place this in the center of my lips just to make the illusion of 
making your lips bigger. For example, a concealer shade or a shade that's three times lighter than your lipstick. It'll make it'll make your lips look bigger. And I just blend it out with my... Alright, you guys, this is the finished makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed filming. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It'll help me out a lot and it'll also let YouTube know to recommend my videos to other viewers. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!